Let's go over to our man, Mr. Rob McEwen at McEwen Mining. Uh, McEwen Mining, folks, trades on the NYSE uh, under the symbol MUX. You've heard uh, Rob uh, many times uh, on t at TFNN. Uh, McEwen Mining, folks, is a, a gold and silver mining um, production as well as exploration in North America as well as South America. Rob McEwen, welcome back to TFNN. Thank you, Tom. Great to be back. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. So, uh, let's, if we can start, Rob, what, I, what I'd love to do, and folks, the, the, the website, okay, is McEwingMining.com. What I'd love to start with, can we start maybe with the, tell us uh, the, how your production is going and where you're going with the production. And, and then, I, I was listening to the Black Fox uh, complex yesterday. It was pretty cool. Maybe we go from the production to the exploration. Hmm. Well, that webinar we gave yesterday, if any of your listeners want to see it, they can go to youtube.com slash McEwen Mining, and they can hear the whole session on what we're getting up at our uh, Timmins operations at Black Fox and Gray Fox. Yes, we, and we will get that up. That was, that was, a, that was, a, that was a great webinar, Rob. Was, Thank you, Tom. Yeah, totally. So um, operations, I'll start off by saying we have four operations. We have a, a mine, a gold mine in Timmins, Ontario, Canada. We have a gold mine in Nevada. We have a gold mine in Mexico that also has silver and a silver gold mine in Argentina. In addition, we have a large copper project also in Argentina. So operationally, Mexico and Argentina have been performing as guided. We've had two challenging situations at Black Fox and Gold Bar. At Black Fox earlier this year, we had a couple of events that will not be happening again, but we're unfortunate. There was a fire at our crusher, and we lost um, basically seven weeks of production. We didn't lose the gold. It just yes. we, we had a crusher fire that prevented the gold from being processed. And then later, in, late in the spring, there was a, a lot of runoff from the melting snows and it flooded a number of mines and our mine was one of the mines that got flooded the west side so we lost half of our production for uh, a couple of months um, but that operations coming along um, gold bar we built the mine through the winter we expected it to start in the first quarter of this year it it was a little slower it started in the at the end of may and then it hasn't gotten up to the speed we wanted at uh, quite yet, but um, it's making steady progress right now. So a lot of moving of pieces, have, huh? Yeah, Oof. we had a lot of a lot of uh, apologies to make this year, and as a result of the issues at Black Fox and Gold Bar, our financial projections we were seventy million dollars light on uh, what we delivered. So we had to go to the market on two occasions. Once the end of March, we raised $25 million at a price I didn't like. And then more recently, we raised $50 million at, an even, at a lower price that I'd like even less than the first one. But we're well-funded now. Uh, we're developing at our Black Fox mine a satellite deposit called Froom. It'll be in production in the third quarter of 21. It will allow us to drop the production at Black Fox and really hit hit our hard with exploration. Um, at the same time, we have large uh, a large exploration program that's been going for two years now on that property and our stock property, and that was what the webinar was all about uh, yesterday. And we're getting some very good grades. Uh, over good intercepts, and those will be satellite deposits that we're, conceptually at least, we see them feeding into our mill or process plant uh, and lifting the production of the Black Fox operations considerably over the next uh, three to five years. Yeah, it's definitely important to make sure you have more ore in your backyard, right? Exactly. For the future. You know, I'd like to, if we can come back to the, uh, I think it's important, you know, there's plenty of folks that know you, okay, but there's plenty of folks out here in the audience that don't, 
And I think it's important to understand, folks, that as you go out with more equity, you know, the, of course, the problem for investors always saying, hey, I'm getting diluted. So talk to me about, I know you own 20%. And if you can just talk to the audience about understanding that, okay, cash flow is so important and that, yes, you know, when you went out there, we had to do it yourself also. But this is, this is important, I think, to understand for the much larger audience. Uh, my investment in the company, the cost of it is $160 million, $64 million. Uh, I take a dollar a year in salary. And prior to running McEwen Mining, I ran a company called Gold Corp. And there I was the largest individual shareholder, um, non-institutional. Yes. So I thought when I started this company, I wanted to be closer to my shareholders. And that meant... I wouldn't take a salary, I wouldn't get options, I wouldn't get a bonus, and I would make money the same way as everybody else. Um, of that 164, 36 of it is uh, equity and the balance is debt that I provided the company. Um, and right now my average cost is about $1.60, so I'm about 60 cents underwater right now. Yeah. on my cost space. Well, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty amazing what you've done, Rob. Uh, and I just wanted to bring that up for the aspect because we, we know how fast time goes. And I remember the first story about the contest of, of Gold Corp. And <laughs> it's pre I know, man, this, this time cycle, can't even get into it because it's, it's the one thing that just keeps going. Oh, so, so now, you know, you, you've, you've had a tough year. The bottom line is that, as you said, though, that the ore is still there. The um, aspect of, uh, now, the uh, Argentina and Mexico, we, we know that Mexico is, is a great place to do business, uh, always has been the mining business. How is Argentina? What is Argentina looking like these days? Well, they've just elected a new government. What happened? Did I lose you, Tom? No, you didn't. No. Okay. no. I think I, I just lost the screen. Okay. Oh. Th that's okay. <laughs> I got you. The audience has you. Good. So Argentina just elected a new government, and they had been in power the term before the last one. Uh, their inflation rate's running at 50%, so the government looks to the employers to try to keep everybody whole with the inflation rate. Okay. Um, so far, we there hasn't been any restrictions taking money out of the country, uh, which is good. Sure, right. Our mine down there, um, because of labor laws, you have more people working in the mines than you would need, say, here in North America. Okay. Um, maybe a third more, a 50% more, so you have higher cost. We're blessed with a deposit that is a very high-grade silver and gold deposit. Um, it's right next door to Newmont Gold Corp's Sara Negro property. Nice. Um, so it's in a good location. And it, it's been going since 2007, has had uh, five to seven years of life in front of it since right. 2000. Well, listen, we really appreciate the update. I'm going to make sure that on YouTube, uh, even on our site, Rob, I'll get that uh, YouTube out video for you, the Black Fox Complice. And uh, have a great holiday, safe one. Look forward to speaking at the beginning of the year. Thank you, Tom.